Hey you guys, it's LaRue LaRue. Just coming on in to do a little channeling reading for the sign of Capricorn of uh, Capricorn. <laughs> I just say Capricorn again. <laughs> Lord, I'm so touchy. Let me stop. Anyway, I was coming to do a little reading, um, a little general love reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of June. Um, if this message resonates with you, please like and share the video. Also, like and subscribe. Um, subscribe to the channel with Rue the Rue, push the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Well, a new video for you guys. <laughs> And I'm a horrible shuffler. Stuff's already coming out. Um, I just want to ask Holy Spirit what the message is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June in love. Holy Spirit, please give me a message for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June. Mixed signals. So, for a lot of you guys, this tells me that there is not a sure answer that you have in a relationship right now. Some of you guys are in established relationships. Some are not in established relationships. Some of you guys are in more of a situationship. Um, I am feeling a lot of frustration going on. A lot of uh, confusion, a lot of just like what it said, mixed signals. I feel as though some of you guys are dealing with a person who is coming in and out of your life. It's a lot of mixed signals going on. One day they want you, one day they don't. One day they call you, one day they don't. I feel like there is a lot of ignored text messages, missed phone calls. You may be texting this person, having a conversation with them, asking them specific questions about the relationship, and then they go silent on you. And then as soon as you back away from that person, then that energetically seems to pull them towards you. So I can see why that would be, why you would consider that to be mixed signals. This may be, so, oh my gosh, you guys, my shuffling is horrible, but... I want to take the first card. Strength. I think that a lot of you guys have overcome a lot of obstacles in your life, especially with this year as well as last. This year as well as last year is uh those these two years are really standing out to me. I feel like a lot of you guys have been through a lot of ups and downs with your job, uh, finding a job, staying at a hard job. Uh, dealing with the loss of loved ones, specifically, that's that's what I'm getting. Um, financial strain. I see a lot of you overcoming that. And I think that this person that you're dealing with actually does see that strength in you. You may be dealing with a Leo, um, or you may have Leo in your chart. I feel like you guys are in the middle of overcoming a lot of obstacles in your life right now. Um, I think a lot of you guys are actually getting the strength to walk away from toxic uh, situations also. I think that this person is continuing to walk in and out of your life, though. This is not a very inconsistent person that I'm getting. Um, but I, I see you gathering the strength from this past year as well as this year. Um, wow. Holy Spirit, what other message do you have in regards to love for the sign of Capricorn? Holy Spirit, what else? Favoritism. What else, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, could you elaborate? My favorite. So what do you mean by favoritism? What do you mean by favoritism? Let 
And the next card I have, why wasn't I good enough for you? So I feel as though a lot of you guys are in a very inconsistent situationship with someone who has others involved in the situation. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys have overcome a lot of the toxicity that this person has put you through, but you're still questioning yourself, or at least you're trying to come out of this mindset of why wasn't I good enough for this person? Um, so this person may basically made you feel like an option. Um, uh, they made you feel as though you were disposable. And then when you would back away from them again, they will come towards you and test the strength that you had. And a lot of you guys may have felt like you had lost strength dealing with this person. A lot of you guys felt like they, they placed others above you. They put others before you. They chose others before you, regardless of the effort that you put into the connection with this person. <laughs> yeah, I've really got to work on my shuffle. It's just really hard to kind of shuffle like regular index cards. <laughs> but I saw these cards on Amazon, these blank, um, I guess like tarot cards that you can write your own messages on. I really want to get some of those. So, yeah, that's probably going to be the next thing doing. Okay. Ooh, student. So a lot of you guys are actually coming out of this situation. Some of you guys are contemplating going back to school. Um, or this could be another sign of you're in the middle of learning something right now. You are in the middle, middle of studying something, pursuing something. Some of you guys are contemplating going into business for yourself. So you're doing all your research right now as to what you need to do as far as like getting things like your LLC or understanding uh, the demographics of the business that uh, the demographics that you're targeting for your business. Um, some of you guys are just studying your field right now. Some of you guys are sitting back and observing and learning what's going on in your surroundings, how you can improve on your strength. Um, the number seven may be significant to you guys. This may be Something significant of seven. Some of you guys may be seeing seeing seven 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 a lot. You guys look up that number and um, figure out what seven 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 means to you. Some of you guys, this indicates July. Something significant happening in July. You guys may be going back to school in July. Um, you guys may be uh, communicating with this person in July. You may be dealing with a person whose birthday is in July. I'm getting maybe towards the end of July, Leo. Right now, this person that you're dealing with, they feel as though they've been cut or blocked off, or you feel as though this person ghosted you in the past. I really feel like this is for your person. You guys have actually took the strength to block out this person and cut out the toxicity that you've been receiving from them recently. Springtime. You guys may have met somewhere in the spring. Um, let's see. I've known you for several lifetimes. Oh, goodness. So this person, you have had a spiritual connection to them for a spiritual, uh, so for several lifetimes. This may be a karmic that you're dealing with. This may be a divine feminine or a divine masculine that you're dealing with. There's something very significant about this connection and why you struggle so much to come out of it or why this person continues to stay on your mind or continues to linger around while you've been dreaming about this person, while your moods are up and down, that's because you're probably mirroring this person's emotions right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got the maturity card. Um, like I said, some of you guys are working on growth right now. Um, a lot of you guys are working on building your spiritual your spiritual strength. A lot of you guys may be dealing with a person who lacks maturity in this connection. You feel as though um, their behavior was quite childish. There's also something that I'm hearing of 
uh, like an age gap or like some sort of age difference. Um, someone may be younger than you or at least act as if they're younger than you, very immature like. But a lot of you guys are seriously working on your strength and building your character and finally understanding who you are as a person and, and, and understanding your dark side. And oh, look at this. You told me your insecurities. Oh, can you see that? You told me your insecurities and I tried to use them against you. Did I go too far? So this could definitely be going with the immature, the maturity card. I feel as though this person is still needing to work on their growth themselves. I feel as though this person carries a lot of insecurities for themselves. And so they try to deflect and push that back off on you because I feel like you, you really try to build a deep bond with this person. And by doing that, you set yourself out there to expose your vulnerabilities to this person and out of their own insecurities to deflect themselves, they try to use your own insecurities against you. I'm feeling that a lot of you guys um, may have told them something about your childhood. Um, I'm hearing a lot of childhood trauma. I'm hearing uh, something with a father figure or a mother figure, something to do with one of the parents that that affected your relationship life today as an adult. I feel like they took those aspects and tried to test your insecurities because they were hiding something. I mean, who does that? You know, that, that that's such a childish thing to do. Too many inconsistencies. So that goes along with the mixed signals that we're looking at here. This person never gave you a sure answer. Well, I feel like when you guys try to push the question of what are we or, or establish some sort of connection with this person, I feel like a lot of them really just kind of block you guys off and try to deflect and play on your emotions and your insecurities because they were immature. I mean, they haven't reached this level of maturity yet. Forgive yourself. Wow. All right. So I'm going to be really just honest with you guys. Um, the reason this person did this, I and mean, the reason why a lot of people do things like this is because sometimes we let them. We try to understand who they are. They may have come to you and told you how everyone leaves them or how no one ever sticks around. And so sometimes we as nurturers tend to feel as though we need to be the ones to stick around for that person. And so we continue to make excuses for this person's immaturity and they're going off of what you're allowing them to do. A lot of you guys need to accept the fact that you played a role in this as well. And I love you guys, but this is honestly something that we have all done in our lives before. We have all made room for people who didn't need to be there. And we allowed them to get away with things that they shouldn't have gotten allowed with. Uh, getting, uh, what am I saying? We've allowed them to get away with things that they shouldn't have gotten away with. And we need to understand our part in the situation and make sure that we understand that we've made mistakes too. And that's okay. That's okay. So it's okay to forgive yourself. I, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why did I put up with this for so long? Um, I guess I felt like I deserved this. Again, a lot of you guys are coming out of, I feel like childhood trauma where you felt like you deserve this type of toxic relationship. And I'm going to call it toxic. Because no one who truly cares about you is going to take you through all this. You need to understand that you can forgive yourself. Like, it's okay. You can give yourself room to grow. That's what life is for. Take that time and build yourself. Forgive yourself for, for allowing this person to do this to you. 
a lot of you guys have given this person ample time to get their life together and, and to to come towards you and we continue to make excuses for this person and in the long run all we're doing is continuing to hurt ourselves don't hurt yourself because that's not the love that you deserve we tend to go for the relationships that we think that we deserve you don't deserve this so forgive yourself and move on and grow take this as an opportunity for your maturity as well okay freedom freedom so a lot of you guys um some of you are have actually exited or temporarily uh left this situation okay a lot of you all just want to be able to be free again just to go outside just to wake up in the morning and smile and be happy you can do that a lot of you guys i feel like this is a, a freedom card for your career as well i know this is a love reading but i something just told me that um financial freedom is what i'm getting guys yeah, just continue to connect with yourself build on what you want and just just live free you don't have to constrict yourself to this type of person or should I say restrict but you don't you don't have to stick with this one type of person there there are so many opportunities out there for you to take you can't allow yourself to become imprisoned by this type of person. You can't allow yourself to become imprisoned by your childhood because a lot of us spend years going through childhood trauma and then we spend the rest of our adult years trying to heal from it. And some of us never do because we don't allow ourselves that freedom. We don't forgive ourselves for allowing ourselves to stay in toxic situations like this as an adult. So I feel like once you forgive yourself, this is the freedom that you can have. I mean, the sky is the limit. <laughs> You're dealing with a liar here, okay? <laughs> you ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> and I feel like I want to... Hmm, I'm wondering if this came out in the last reading that I did. I can't remember. But, I mean, it's, it's that simple. You're dealing with a liar here. This person doesn't know whether they're coming or going. And I can guarantee you, and I feel like this person is pulling the same cards with several other energies in their lives. Um, a lot of you guys are dealing with a person who is dealing with multiple uh, love interests. And, I mean, this person lies about the simplest thing. You you may begin to notice that this person is a habitual liar, okay? A habitual liar. Honey, they will lie about the sky being blue. They'll tell you that it's black. I mean, just lie about anything. You guys don't need that type of energy around, this person has a lot of work that they need to do on themselves and I and I'm getting as though that person has not done that work yet. You can't sit around and wait for this person to get their life together. You'll be waiting forever and you'll be enslaved to this person. You won't have that freedom. You that freedom is a mindset. Is well let me say this freedom is a state of mind. Freedom is a state of mind. You don't have to stick around someone like that who continues to lie to you this person may try to manipulate the situation and tell you that they lie <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 maybe quoting baby boy for a second this person may be saying that i'm lying to you because i care about your feelings that that that's what i'm getting that they may be trying to the 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 bull crap that they're trying to feed you right now don't allow them to feed you that you deserve so much more than that in double life like i said i feel like this person is dealing with multiple energies i feel like this person is pulling the same cards with multiple other people you need to watch out for this because these are people who live a false life they're a liar 
they 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 put on a facade they put on a facade and they try to make it seem like their life is this grand thing and I, I feel as though a lot of these people are on social media presenting themselves as if they have all this money um as if they have the the ideal job as if their life is just golden and brand new and it's not it's not. And a lot of people have that perception about social media, but a lot of these people are running around here. You know, you, you really don't know what these people are going through when those phones turn off, when the computer turns off. But watch out for this because this, what I'm getting is someone who's holding you back. And I hate to be so pessimistic about it, but I really feel as though this is a warning for you guys. Um, this is a warning to build on yourself and let this person go build themselves. You guys may come back together. You may not. That depends how fate works itself out. But for right now, Capricorn, this ain't it. Holy Spirit, what is the final message you have for Capricorn in love for the month of June? Holy Spirit, what is the final message that you have? Capricorn in the month of June. Holy Spirit, what is the final message? What will be the out? Let me ask this. Holy Spirit, what is the outcome of this message for Capricorn? Hmm. <sighs> should I stay or should I go? So at the end of this, I feel like you guys are still uh, contemplating whether you should stay or leave this person. I can't be the one to make that decision for you. That's something that you're going to have to do for yourself. Um, I really hope that a lot of you guys come out of this contemplation very soon, though. I feel like as soon as you make a decision off of this question, then you'll begin to have your freedom and be able to build your strength. A lot of you guys are going to have to accept the fact that you're going to have to take um, accountability for the decisions that you make. So you guys need to figure out whether this is something worth investing to. And if you truly feel as though this is something not worth investing into, then it would behoove you to move on. But whatever you guys do, just make sure you do it in love and light and make sure that you're doing it to help you grow and make sure you're not out there harming other people. Um, I, I really want to pull another message because I, I just don't feel like that's it. Okay. Holy Spirit, could you tell me a more precise I feel like a lot of you guys are saying I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right. So let's see. If you fall, stand tall and come back for more. All right. So what this is telling me is that you guys know that you have made mistakes and you guys are working on um, stepping away from the toxicity and you guys are working on your strength right now. So I feel like this message is telling me that you guys are actually choosing yourselves in this situation. You love this person, but what this person needs to understand is that you need to love yourself before anything else. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my God. Y'all, I'm done. <laughs> oh my God, I'm done. All right, you guys. <laughs> wow. 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 All right. Well, that's what it is. Oh, my gosh. I need to call my sister. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is literally what I just said. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you guys, um, I think you know what you need to do. And, um, you know, just, just make sure that you keep all the, you really, you guys really need to focus on keeping out the distractions. I really want to push hard to say that a lot of you guys are about to start focusing on your job more, um, going into business for yourself, uh, making more money, making more moves, cutting out the relationships for right now. I see a lot of you guys moving away um, from your relationships, Capricorn, and you're moving into your work and you're going to invest yourself more heavily into work. Oh my gosh. Wow. Guys, I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you for confirming that. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, for whoever's watching. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell because I'm definitely coming back. And Capricorn, you take care and take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time. Bye.